All right, what can I get you? You, uh, you don't recognise me, do you? Uh, no, should I? I'm Roxy Mitchell's fiance. Yeah, a couple of months ago I came over, found out you'd made her pregnant. Yeah, nothing happened, all right? It, it was a lie, I've never had anything to do with her. Is that right? Yeah. I'm, I'm married with three kids. Married? Yeah. So we dumped her, because your missus found out. No! No, look, I, I swear to you, right? Nothing happened between me and Roxy. Okay, they, they were blackmailing me because of some food poisoning, all right? Ronnie forced me to do it. All right, she said I had to help Roxy convince you to dump her, otherwise, they'd ruin my business. And my Roxy just went along with her, did she? Because she's a devious, backstabbing tart, same as her sister. Is that what you're saying to me? Hey, 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 hey. Just call the police, will ya? Funny how they say our response times are slow. This is your last chance. Do you want to try resisting arrest? Oh, there's no need for that. It's nothing. It's a misunderstanding. Look, I'm sorry. Um, it's my fault, man. Wasn't really going to hit him. Walk away, then. It's always the innocent bystander, isn't it? I mean, he should be taking this out on his fiance, not me. Well, I expect he's thinking exactly the same thing right now. Do you know what? They deserve that. I mean, not that I'm condoning violence or anything, but those Mitchell sisters who work over in the pub, I mean, they're toxic barbie dogs. You should be around there arresting them. Yeah, I'll bear that in mind. How much I owe you? No, no, just, um, look, have that on the house, son. Don't fancy hanging around here just in case he comes back. Oh, come on, look, I, I need some protection, don't I? I'll, I'll throw the free fry out. I'll have double chaser. You need to settle your tab before you go. Yeah, well, I'll pay you back everything, Ronnie. Don't worry about that. Here you go. Cheers. Up yours. Well, if it isn't Mr. Splashy. Gonna drink that beer? Are you gonna throw it over somebody? Hey, but I'll keep you guessing. You're not that interesting. Same again, Ronnie. Listen, I wouldn't give him too much more to drink. He's getting old up for a reason. Oh, you know him, do you? Yeah, not as well as you and your sister. I met him in the calf getting a rundown on a scam you played with the owner. Something about a pretend pregnancy. Interesting now, aren't I? What is my lunch break? I knew it would screw up. You see, this is what happens when you try and think for yourself. Why are you still packing? Because I'm going to Ibiza. Did you not hear what I just said to you? Damien knows. He's spoken to Ian. Yes, and I'll deal with it, all right? I can still save this. Look, he's still going to want to go with me. I know it. You really are as dumb as you look, aren't look, you? He trusts me. Just give me the chance to prove it, please. I have not screwed this up. Roxy, stop. It's over. It was a stupid idea. Stop digging. Go downstairs to the bar and play nice. Do not let on that we know and do not go anywhere with Damien alone. I'll be back in a minute, all right? What exactly did you say? What I had to. Why do you think I'm hiding here? I mean, you never said he was going to come back. I could have ended up in hospital if his copper hadn't turned up. What copper? Was he wearing a dark suit? Yeah. I've told him all about you and your sister. So it's your problem now, not mine. 